Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the fixed end movements for the common loading conditions in fixed beams. So we see here that these are two fixed beams. How we can define these are the fixed beams? Because they are provided with a fixed support. So you see here, here this support is a fixed support. Here as well, fixed support. And also in this beam, the both supports are fixed supports. So this means when all of, the support, all of the supports in a beam are fixed, we call such type of beams are fixed beams. So we are going to find out the movements for such type of beam where the, um, they are known as the fixed beams. So the quality of the fixed beam is that they can take the horizontal load, for example, RAX, horizontal load. They can also resist the vertical load, RAY, and they can also take the movement. They can also resist the movement in this way, they are different from that of the roller and hinge support because they can take the moment. So now we are going to find out the um, um, bending moments for these kinds of the beams or this kind of the support condition. So let's start with the first one here. This one where there is a load P. We see here load P is acting here at the mid of the beam. L by 2 from one side in L by 2 from the other side. And the total length of the beam is L. So how we can find the bending moment for this kind of beam with the fixed support. So keep in mind the maximum bending moment will always be at the fixed support. This is a known fact. So this moment M at this support will be equal to the P L by 8. And here it will also be equal to the moment at this support. For example, it is B support, it is A support. So it will be M A will be like this and M B will be also P L by 8 because the because the load is acting at the center of the beam L by 2 and L by 2 from the ends. So now what is P and the formula is P L by 8. So P is the load which is for example 5 kN. So you just put moment at B or at A. Both are same because the load is acting symmetrically. So P L by 8. So you just put 5 kN here multiply with the length of the beam. The length of the beam is total length, not the half length. So the total length of the beam is, for example, 8 meter dividing by 8. So 8, it will be cancelled. We got 5 kilonewton meter. So this is the bending moment here at this end, 5 kilonewton. And also here, this will be 5 kilonewton meter. If you have the load of 5 kilonewton, the length of 5 meter, the length of 8 meter. So we can find out the maximum moments here at this end and also at this end. But now, when there is a load condition, when the load is not acting at the center of the beam. So how we can find out the maximum bending moment then? Then we will find in a different way. So now keep this in mind. Then now the moment here at this point will be equal to the, for example, this is A, this is B. So here in moment at in A will be equal to the P A B square divided by L square. Moment at B will be equal to the P A B P A square into B divided by L square. So now these are different types of the moment, are different values of the moment because the load is acting at, at not at the midpoint but at a distance of A from one end which is near end and the distance of B which is a far away end from this support. So now in this case for example M A which is equal to the M A B square divided by L square. So how you keep this so this is B, so this is P. P A B square divided by L square. So now in this case, which is a nearer point, so when, when they are the load is near to the support, so keep in mind that this value A will not be with a square. The other values, for example, B will be with a square. So now P, for example, is a load, is, for example, this is 5 kN, so 5 multiplied by the A. For example, the distance of this is 2 meter, so this is 2 multiply with this distance for example is a 4 meter b so we multiply with the 4 this is 2 this was 4 dividing by 4 4 square dividing by l square for example the total length is 2 plus 4 6 6 square so simply multiply this value for example 10 into 16 divided by 36 so just multiply this values so by multiplying and dividing this value comes out to be 4.44 kilonewton meter so we find out that the moment at A point is 
4.44 similarly you know all these values just put in this formula you will find the moment at this point so now in this case the moment at a will not be equal to the moment of b because because the loads are not acting symmetrically in this case it was symmetrically so moment at a was equal to the moment of b the moment of b but here they are not equal in this case so i hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video